Hi, my name is Madli Givisik. I actually joined as the first employee at Pactum uh, way back in 2019, and I work in the product team. So, but of course, as a first employee, you, you initially start doing any, anything that has to be done in the company. So I've worked in various roles, but right now my position and my job is to make sure that the negotiations that we design, that these are actually the best possible negotiations that could be designed and that they rely on negotiation science, our own negotiation findings and are approved by experts as well. My background is in data science, psychology and law. And I knew one of the founders from before. So when they founded Pactum, then this was kind of a natural fit uh, so that because Pactum does exactly those three things as well. We have a little bit of law, a little bit of psychology and data science. And right now I am mostly focusing on this uh, data science and psychology part in Pactum and figuring out how we can use research, um, both that we've made in-house and also research that has been done out in the world um, to design our negotiations and make our negotiations better. The changes, it's almost like I've gone um, uh, away from the company because I was on maternity leave, uh, the leave for like a couple of times. And every time I come back, it almost seems like it's a new company uh, that I'm working for because uh, there have been so many big changes throughout the past couple of years. Um, initially, when I joined, um, then we only had a team of five people and now we're at 80 people or so. And it seems like we are going to continue growing. So I've really enjoyed uh, how the different cultures and different perspectives have made our product more rich. How uh, we now have more time to actually focus on the quality of our negotiations as well, because there are more people working on these, uh, these things and we also now um, I'm gather are gathering more and more experience doing negotiations cross-culturally. So, for example, in Korea, uh, which uh, where the negotiations and the negotiation culture is quite different compared to what the negotiation culture is in Europe or in the United States. So it has been really cool to, to see this cultural growth and expansion all over the world throughout the past couple of years. Working with our clients, um, I have really enjoyed this uh, experience of designing the negotiation because in this, um, this process, as we design a new negotiation, we also figure out what is a good strategy for a client and for our supplier. So for a client, for example, how do they value different terms with their suppliers? And sometimes uh, the clients different stakeholders can have completely different opinions around how we should value, for example, the net payment days or discounts or rebates and things like that. So what I've enjoyed is, is working together with them, understanding the strategy behind it, and then figuring out how we can put the strategy actually into play um, in a systematic way uh, in our AI and in our automated negotiations. So I enjoy how we sometimes take the knowledge that people have in their minds and formalize this, uh, make it automatic so that it is actually scalable and more people and our clients' sites have a similar opinion about how exactly what their strategy should, should look like. And what, my, what I do day to day is I figure out, I look at the results of our negotiations in Pactum and I figure out uh, what are some changes that we can make to our interactions uh, with our suppliers to create more opportunities for win-win contracts so that the client would be able to um, get the most from the negotiation as well as the supplier. So for example, um, when we first start off a negotiation, we frequently don't even know what is a good first offer that we should make in the negotiation. Uh, but because we're doing this in an automated way, we have the possibility of varying all of our first offers and uh, sending out many different offers, doing A-B tests, and then figuring out the most optimal outcome uh, for our client and the supplier. And similarly, we, we do other kinds of tests, uh, like for example, how, whether, when we should pause the negotiation or um, how, for example, the supplier's mood or the supplier's background influences the outcome of the negotiation. Like, for example, recently we found 
that uh, when a supplier, the way how they answer a simple question like, how are you doing at the beginning of the negotiation, that this actually tells us already how they're going to interact with the negotiation later on and how likely it is that they will reach a deal with us. So I find that personally really exciting as well, especially with a background in psychology on what we could do um, to, to change the course of events and then um, how we can influence the supplier in one way uh, or another, but also influence them in a positive way so that they may make uh, decisions in the negotiation that are also good for their company. So I think one of the ways how we've had a great impact, a pactum, uh, at these clients is that we've been able to show them that if you figure out what exactly the suppliers are interested in and offer them benefits that they're interested in, then this also means that the client can win. And we've seen this through experimentation also with our clients that when we add, when we research more what the suppliers are interested in and actually offer the benefits to the suppliers, then this doesn't only produce a win for the negotiation for our suppliers, but also for a client. So I think that this is also one way how Pactum is changing the culture of negotiations uh, with the companies that we're working with. As a negotiation expert at Pactum, I work together with uh, negotiation researchers around the world and uh, also with the data scientists that we have in-house. So what, uh, what is interesting about this job is that frequently the research that has been done in different psychology laboratories around the world is very specific to human-to-human -human uh, interactions. Um, and frequently also the studies that we're looking at have around 50 par participants um, and, uh, and that isn't really comparable to what we do at Pactum. So at Pactum we can look at thousands and thousands of negotiations and we see the patterns of behaviour in the negotiation throughout this big data set as well. So because of that, on the one hand, I think we have more insights into how people behave in these negotiations. And at the same time, of course, it's really interesting to look at how people's behavior is different um, when they interact automatically versus if they do it from person to person. So uh, I, I like that about my job as well, is that on the one hand, there's a, a crossover with negotiation scientists and um, experiments that are done uh, in the world, but at the same time, uh, it's really cool to also advance science in a way and um, publish your own research, hopefully in the future, uh, where we'll be able to share these kinds of insights with the scientific community as well. As a first employee at Pactum, something that I would like all other future employees at Pactum to do is um, definitely try out these kinds of negotiation exercises because for me, for example, this was the place where I first had this aha moment that a negotiation doesn't have to be uh, about winning or losing, but it can be about actually understanding that if you cooperate well with the other side and you use the right negotiation tactics, you're able to create more of a win-win for both parties and not only win yourself, but make sure that you win together with the partner that you're negotiating with. So that's definitely something that I would like everyone in Pactum to, to be aware of and make sure to, that we improve our product in a way that enables our clients and suppliers to get win-win agreements. Autonomous negotiations allow, um, allow our clients to set a strategy in the negotiation and allow our clients to not have to make a decision every single, with every single negotiation, but be sure that the, the automated system is aligned with their whole preferences. And at the same time, uh, it enables the supplier that they're negotiating with to also find the best possible deal because the automated system presents them with several different options and uh, is, takes into account what their preferences are. So it saves time for our clients and uh, enables the supplier to see um, the whole contract space that, uh, that they're able to reach an agreement with.